In order to operate in augmented and virtual reality, Facebook believes artificial intelligence will need to develop an egocentric perspective. To better understand the new project that Facebook, or Meta, is launching, Tiernan Ray is here to help break it down for us. Tiernan, how is Facebook planning to develop this egocentric perspective? You know that Mark Zuckerberg says we're going to spend the rest of our lives inside the metaverse as his new company's direction, now called Meta, the company that used to be known as Facebook. So the idea is that if you're going to be inside of a thing that's kind of like a video game wearing Oculus Rift headset, there needs to be some new technology developed to uh, be able to make the environment responsive. And uh, already Facebook has a lot of AI technology. And the problem that is discussed in this latest project is that uh, the AI technology that's been developed to date isn't really adapted to a situation where someone is looking through a camera, uh, looking through a lens, rather an Oculus Rift headset and seeing everything. In first person, usually AI is developed looking at pictures that are where some object is seen sort of from the side. So this uh, new initiative is to try and make AI more sensitive to what things look like in first person view. To do that, Facebook has developed something called Ego 4D. This is a set of about um, almost uh, 3,000 hours of video that was captured by about 750 individuals wearing head cams. You think of someone going around with a GoPro. As they went through various activities, they were reading to their kids, they were making dinner, they were riding a bicycle. So the idea is that having tagged with labels uh, th almost 3,000 hours of video, Neural networks can be trained now to recognize what is going on. You're talking to your kids. That's what the label is of the scene. You're making a meal. And then a variety of AI tasks can be developed that know how to interpret these kinds of scenes that would be happening as you're in the metaverse going around with a first person view. OK, so why is this important? It's important if you believe that machine learning forms of AI need to operate in the metaverse. And so, for example, an example task might be, you want to be able to remember where something was. Let's say you were in a simulated environment that's like a house. And let's say you had a virtual object and that object was supposed to be uh, in one room of that house. And let's say you're saying, I want to, computer, I want to go back to the room where I left this virtual baseball jersey. And without being able to remember, without having an inventory yourself, you want the computer to just say, oh yeah, you left it in the upstairs bedroom. I'll go up the, go up the virtual stairs. So that's the kind of task, remembering things. Where did I put something? What was I doing yesterday. Maybe you're in the metaverse and you lose track of time. I know I was interacting with Beth yesterday. There was some kind of activity. I think it might have been cooking. Maybe the neural network could say, yes, the neural network has a memory that you were in the virtual kitchen and the two of you were preparing some kind of virtual snack that you're going to uh, later partake of. And so it could remember things that you did. It could conceivably remember where you put objects, that kind of functionality. Yeah, Tiernan, this is fascinating. Um, so, so as it grows, where is it going to go? Good question, Beth. It's important to remember this is a, what's called a data set. So it's hours and hours of labeled video. But now the task is to develop neural network machine learning forms of AI using this data. So the data only serves as input to neural networks. The idea is that Meta has opened this data set to many parties in academia uh, and in the broader world who can now build software programs using this data. So we're now, we've got the data, now we're waiting for the software programs, the neural networks that will actually be built to use it. So stay tuned to see, uh, you should see like many other kinds of achievements in neural networks and natural language processing and image recognition. The idea is you'll start to see a wave of first person metaverse AI programs leveraging this data that have been trained on it and trained to the point where they're now able to make some predictions like we talked about. All right, this will be interesting to see and to keep an eye on as it further develops. As always, thank you Tiernan for breaking this down for us and thank you for watching. Be sure to stick with ZDNet for all things tech.